next question. <laughs> Yolo thing, correct. No, I can't. <laughs> You're all cringe. Hi everyone, I'm Jaden. Uh, I'm a final year law student at SUSS. Uh, I'm also an ex offender as well. Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence. I'm Jaden's friend. I've known him for seven years and I'm a lawyer by profession. So today we're going to be answering some questions from these cards. So let's go. How did you both meet and what was your first impression of each other? We met at um, the Office for Young People, which is under the Catholic Church uh, for, for, for Young Persons. Uh, my first impression of you was that you know you 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 you're actually quite quite a proud person. <laughs> but I, I have to clarify. I I think the reason why I thought you were proud was because you gave us a very alpha like kind of like very alpha male vibes lah. Yeah. What was my first impression of Jaden? That he was very buff. You know, like he was <laughs> going for manhunt back then. <laughs> <laughs> so he was yeah very very fit. Um, but in terms of personality, um, you were very honest, open, and vulnerable like, in that sense. When did you find out that I am an ex-offender and how do you feel about it? I can't really remember specifically but it was definitely at a very early stage, right? Because I think in our church group, everyone was sharing like very vulnerably. Because people are sharing vulnerably and there's that level of trust there. Yeah, I, I think so as well because um, I guess all of us are roughly within the same age bracket as well not too far away. Yeah, so um, for me, I think, you know, I felt a sense of like comfort like, knowing that they, they wouldn't judge and at the same time, you know, it also allows me to um, let some things off my chest and, you know, like uh, lighten the load like, emotionally at least. Yeah. What inspired you to pursue law and how did your journey start? There was this time when I was in the remand prisons. Um, there was this lawyer who was also inside as an inmate. When I came out in 20, 2012, so I, I have this mindset that I want to be a lawyer, right? But um, I knew that I had to get my basic education right. So I got into um, the Building and Construction Authority um, Academy. Um, I got into a Diploma in Construction Engineering program. Yeah, so that was uh, sponsored by the Yellow Ribbon Star Bursary. And then after the diploma, you know, Again, Yellow Ribbon Star Bursary sponsored my first degree. Yeah, I, I just went ahead, you know, I just got my basic things right first, you know, making sure that I don't ever re-offend again. I got my basic education, you know, I'm more confident, etc. I think, you know, a combination of these factors, including my first degree, you know, set me up to be a more confident person and to actually apply for law school as well. Describe each other in three words. Definitely, Jaden is a, is a bro. Uh, the second point is uh, hardworking. And I think the, the, the last point is that, you know, he's also very, very street smart. I think for Lawrence, uh, the first word I, I, I think of is, is smart. La. The second word I think is um, he is very, um, very committed. Um, then the third thing I think is, you know, he, he, he may look very alpha on the outside, but on the inside, he's actually a, a, a very caring person. I don't want to put you in a spot, but uh, the question is, do you think I would make a good lawyer? Yeah, I mean, I've already touched on a few different aspects of Jaden. The answer, short answer is yes. Um, because in order to be a really good lawyer, you need a few different things. The first one is you need, uh, obviously, the technical ability. Um, the second very important aspect is uh, passion and endurance. Though. From the start, it really has that passion, right? Like, how many people can say that, look, I was in a jail cell and I felt this passion to practice law. So, not many people can have a dream for 12 years and yet not even be at the stage of, oh, I'm really living out the dream, right? He's still on his way to becoming a lawyer. He's not yet become a lawyer. So, you know, he definitely, for me, has that passion and endurance. So, the first question is, who's always late? For sure it's me, yeah. I'm busy doing too many things. Sleeping. <laughs> For sure lah. I mean, I, I, I mentioned that, you know, it's like having a five-course dinner when I go to his uh, house. Yeah. Who is more likely to cry during a set movie? What is it difficult to say? Neither way. <laughs> yeah, I think both of us. We both are emotionally stunted. <laughs> <laughs> If I really, really, I think really we're about the same level. I, I, I think so, you know, yeah, because I think if I cry, he will cry also. I think we are the same level. Same lah, yeah. So both. So la. both. Tight. <laughs> so who's more popular among the ladies? Oh, that's for sure, man. No, it's true. It's true. It, it, it's true, really. Because I mean, you no, know, he's a he's a lawyer. He speaks well, you know. And then like, uh, you know, he used to be quite fit also. Yeah, used to be <laughs> lah. <laughs> you you used to be more fit. 
before you come out or once you're out, I think it's good to have a goal in mind, you know, as to what you want to do. And and of course, I think this has been said many times. I think um, getting getting support when you need it is is important. I think work on yourself, you know, work on your own um, your own emotions. Um, yeah, and when you get to that stage, you you, you realize that you know you have regularized yourself, and you know you you're just like any other person walking on the streets. Yeah. Okay, so so really just to um, recognize that you know we are the same, right? Like um, in under different circumstances, our positions could be switched, right? So who am I to judge? Uh, much less uh, discriminate, right? So I think the key for the support group surrounding uh, is to really just do your best to love the person and recognize that the person is one of us, lah. You know. For those who are interested in supporting second chances, you can go to the Yellow Ribbon Singapore website to find out more.